she wants to return those things I bought her. Tell her she can keep them just the same. All right, I added finally one of these advanced TED 5000 units to my system. I got the 5000G, which is just the gateway system. And you can look up on some of the other YouTube videos of how to install the TED systems. I have the TED 1000 that you've seen in my prior videos sitting on my desk here. That It actually is telling me I'm using 190 watts. This unit here is telling me I'm using 184. So it's uh, pretty darn accurate. The uh, with the gateway unit or with the regular one with the display you get this uh, computer display where you have your time and date and you can have your rate entered it displays your real-time kilowatt usage how much you've recorded a peak for today and low and high voltage and then what your uh, since midnight your monthly and uh, daily averages are for your usage for your system and I have this connected up obviously on my utility line so it's the total for the house so we're this is pretty typical with the computer and a uh, light on in the morning here not in the refrigerator not running furnace not running we nominally are using about 180 watts so when my solar panels during the day for instance are doing a better than that and the refrigerator isn't running then uh, I'm generating more than I need which is uh, you know I have a 500 watt grid tied system so all I have you know anytime I'm doing 500 watts I'm doing better than I than or better than we normally use so that's what that main screen here is the second tab here is the monthly the hourly the daily and the monthly usage and you can see this this uh, particular gateway that I have is a uh, been previously owned so the person that had it before me you can kind of look at what their monthly history was looks like they got it in uh, August September and then uh, sold it to me so anyway this will accumulate over time and uh, give you a good picture of what the history is on the graphing side <coughs> it displays a uh, power on the left and you have control over this scale I have it set up for 0 to 5,000 watts on the right is the voltage and it, it defaults to 100 to 140 and uh, you can then down here you can you can select if you want to display real time by the second by the minute by the hour by the day by the month or if you want to have your in what your sample rate so the fastest sample rate is 30 seconds one minute two minutes so let me just put it on the one minute one here and we'll see how it reacts here I'm going to first uh, I think if you hold your cursor over the the line, it kind of gives you the uh, value. So it's right now saying 186 watts. I'm going to turn a little light on here. It should go up. There it goes. That was a small light. It went up to uh, 208. I'm going to turn on a heater now. Electric heater in the room. about a 1500 watt heater so we should see a jump up there we go so that's kind of cool you can see what this uh, what your house is using and it records all this in the gateway so you can download it later so it's doing logging just like my uh, WhatsApp Pro does but it does it on a whole uh, system basis rather than a individual device so the other thing you can do is uh, under the edit line here you got these different wizards for setting up your system setting up your utility rates uh, changing your your load profile and uh, I think this Google power meter has disappeared it's no longer supported by Google and then you can actually uh, post your data out on the TED site. So anyway, just getting used to it here. Uh, looks like I can export data to a, a spreadsheet. Uh, you can update your firmware and do things like that. So pretty straightforward, useful thing. I'd encourage you to check it out.
This is the TED 5000G. Talk to you later.